Hey guys, Jerry today, and today we're going to bring, bring you some, well, not bring you, we're going to be showing you the new Xbox One user experience. I downloaded this about maybe half an hour ago, as you can see, 9.50pm, a bit late, had work, sorry guys. So, what I like about this is just the whole design, it feels modern, it feels, feels new, I know it is new, but it feels just, I have that feeling, I don't know, I can't explain it very well. So, this is the home screen. It has your gamer tag and your gamer score in the top left corner. It has, you know, games with gold and your usual on your right hand side of the screen. But this time, it has, you know, time and your controller battery level up in the top right. Now, if you scroll down on the home screen, you find some, um, you find, I think, your most recent opened app, a maybe a, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but looks like a gamer hub, maybe recently played games, most popular games, uh, something like that. Now, my stuff, now, I think this is Reese most opened or pinned, if I correct, but when you go into my games and apps, it has all your games here still, exactly like before, but it's just sleek and modern, bit, it just feels a bit more, you know, you know, Q apps, you know, a bit, you know, a bit more sharp, all that. Which brings me to my next thing. If you go back to the home, you go click over to community. Now, this usually happened in Friends. It would tell you achievements when they recorded a clip, when they seen screenshot. But now, it's all in the community section. You've got every single thing your friend made, clips, all the above achievements and all that. Plus. There's some even r things on the right that will make you, th um, actually don't know what they are. Probably just game, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So if you, sorry, if you go back over here, you can share something to Xbox Live, so I'm guessing write a message. Yes, you can. See, oh, see, look, have a look at that new keyboard. I have, like I said, only downloaded 20 minutes ago, haven't really had a chance. Have a look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, zero. It just looks sleek. What's that? And then I'm guessing refresh. Oh no. And probably only check for game clips. Now if you go over next, it's one guide. So this I'm guessing is, you know, saying you know, there's saying, oh geez, you know, go buy these. Most popular movies, new movies. Oh shit. Very easy to slip over. Now there's also live TV setup, movies, TV shows, app channels, my movies and TV down the bottom. Very handy. Microsoft have just absolutely smashed it. I reckon they've done a superb job. Now also, discover app channels, gaming. So, like this has got stuff from actual Minecraft that you can click on and check, which is awesome. It just brings a whole new field. Now movies so as you can see top comedies it's you know giving me all the comedies that I could buy rent I think you know, quick flicks what's been added I think just all this new stuff which is good also the store this is exciting this is new fresh this is fresh and when you first go into the store you get an extra three things at the top there's games, apps, movies and TV, and music. So it's all in the same thing. It's all in the same thing, which is good. So you can go apps, Netflix, Skype, YouTube, Twitch, Crunchyroll, don't know what that is. And all of the above. No movies and TV. Rent, Buy, Marvel's Age of Ventron, Fast and Furious 7, American Sniper, Kings of the Secret Service. And same with music. You know? Buy albums songs, all that. But one thing I am very excited about, I'm so happy they brought it in. If you go to, oh, sorry. If you go to this, uh, okay, hold on, I'm trying to think. Okay, so if you double tap your home button, it brings up a whole new interface. This time it's on the left hand side. And what I'm really excited about, so you have a party going, I have a party going with, um, to Bigfoot at the moment, which is a whole new different. So much easy access, you don't have to keep opening different apps, it's all in the same thing. 
No, there's friends, my party, the messages, notifications, and settings. There's also snap and app. So, you know, it's still exactly like four, snap achievements. But it's still going to snap on the right side, but that comes up on the left side. Very handy. See? Recently played. This is all what I played in the recent. And then go to full screen, etc. If I go back into here, and I'll go unsnap. See, so it'll unsnap it. If I go back into friends, I've got my party. You know, friends. Oh, I want to, I want to, you know... I want to invite, I don't know, maybe XX Roman. All I can see is, you can see there, it's given me press X to invite to your party. Whoa, geez, that's easy. No more going into the actual party app, inviting party, waiting for them. You can just push X right now. See, push X. Sends an invite. Simple as that. Now, if you go into settings... Which I'm so happy about. You know how they brought out the Xbox One Pro controller? Well, now, and you could only you could download an app and remap their buttons. Well, now, guess what? You can remap your default controllers buttons. If you simply go into uh, connecting devices, go to devices and accessories, click on your controller. There's an update available. I downloaded it before. That's why. If you go to button mapping, it's going to open up the Xbox, I think, accessories app, which I'm pretty sure you might have to download. And if you go configure, look, button mapping. So this is just a default Xbox controller. Came with the Xbox when it first came out. Controller button, let's say the Y button. I can change the Y button to the A button. So that means Y will be A and A will be Y. Restore defaults, change it back to defaults. And like, you know, easy. It's awesome. You can swap the sticks over. So it means, you know, left stick, right stick. So if you prefer to melee and cod, say, with the right stick, etc. Invert sticks. Well, check that. Invert the stick axis. Pretty much invert, you know, so pretty much good for flying, I'd say. Swapping triggers. So, you know, if you want the left one to shoot instead of zoom in cod, we'll say that. Um, sorry, I've been playing Black Ops 3 recently. Then, perfect way to use. So, we'll just say done. So, we'll go back. Now, if we go back into settings, down here, all settings, it's new. You might not like it at start, but I'm I'm starting to like it. You know, there's no more. It's just simple. It's telling you what you can do. And it's just getting straight in. Ease of access. Look. You know, there's button mapping right there. High contrast. What's this? Turn on high contrast to make on screen elements ADC. See? Microsoft have absolutely smashed it. They've done a perfect job, in my opinion. I There there will be room in improvement. There, you know, there might be a, a glitch somewhere. You know, like I said, it came out. I don't know when it came out, but I downloaded it 20 minutes ago. I haven't found anything wrong with it yet. Now... One thing that how they have brought in with this update is backwards compatibility. Now, I know you guys are all so super excited for that. But if you guys have not seen the list of 104 games that they have released so far, I'll link it in the description. But unfortunately, for you COD lovers out there, there's no mention of COD at the moment. December, I think COD Black Ops, I'm not sure whether that's Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, will be coming to the Xbox One. Hoping they bring MW3 back. Oh, many other. World at War. Heaps of other games. You know, GTA 4. Maybe Far Cry 3. You know, all those games I would love to see. Microsoft can bring mostly all the Xbox 360 games back. It'd be fantastic. So thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. I hope you've downloaded it. And I hope you're having as much fun as me. So anyway guys, see you later. Jeremy out.